Hi everyone, Joe here, and 2016 is easily the best time ever to buy a pair of budget headphones. With more and more companies challenging historic brands, we've seen a clear growth in quality while prices have been going down. Blue Deal is one of those companies, and these are their 60 bucks to 93. But are they any good? Let's find out! I was happily impressed right from the packaging and the contents of the box. The headphones come with a carrying pouch, the user manual and the usual cables, and taking them in the hand for the first time feels really nice. They are well built with a sturdy and solid construction given by a zinc alloy that is much better than your average plastic. The earpads are quite soft and cushiony, and even if the circular form factor is not my favorite, they are reasonably comfortable. I wouldn't keep them on for 5 hours straight, but they are not too tight nor too heavy. The headband is extremely flexible, and you can also adjust the length with a nice stepless mechanism so that even larger heads should fit with no problem. They can swivel sideways sadly, but they do fold to take up a lot less space. The two ear caps look exactly identical at the first glance, but the right one actually hides the power button and media playback control. Besides, you'll also find here a micro USB port at the bottom, while the 3.5mm jack is found on the left hand side. And by the way, I actually really like the design of the ear caps, it's something quite unique and elegant, with the matte black finish adding a nice touch to the overall look. The sound quality side has also been quite satisfactory. The 57mm drivers do their job, delivering an overall nice and crisp sound with a clear preference for the lows. You get a lot of bass with a frequency response that goes as low as 15Hz, and as a result stuff like rock or EDM sounds really good on these. On the other hand, it's a bit too strong for some other genres, as it eats up some of the mids and the highs, so it ultimately comes down to whether heavy bass is for you or not. Sound stage is ok, nothing exceptional, but you also get a 3D sound mode which is only available when they're connected via Bluetooth. To activate it, you just need to press the power and volume button simultaneously, or power and volume down to turn it off. In theory, this should improve sound stage and give a more spacious sound, but in practice there's not much of a difference. Still, I find it nice that they included it, and it's a welcome touch for such an inexpensive pair. Being closed back headphones, sound isolation is top notch as you'd expect, and they don't leak pretty much at all. Especially in wired mode, the maximum volume is higher than you will realistically ever need, but keep in mind that distortion becomes noticeable when you get close to the really max. Overall, I wouldn't recommend them to a sound purist or a professional, but they are more than enjoyable for personal music listening. Blue Dio claims a 20 hours long better life, and from my experience it doesn't get far from that. Besides, as previously mentioned, you also get the option to use them via the 3.5mm jack, so you'll be covered even when you run out of battery. So these are the Turbine T3, a solid pair of headphones for a really reasonable price tag of 60 bucks. The build quality and design department is fantastic, challenging much more expensive headsets. They support all of the must-have features for a pair of Bluetooth headphones in 2016, and everything is supported by an enjoyable sound. If accuracy is your priority, there are other options that will suit your needs better under 100 bucks, but for generic music listening you won't be disappointed. So that was it for today, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button, and feel free to check out more headphones reviews in this playlist if you're still unsure about your next purchase. As always, thank you so much for watching, this was Joe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.